Stepped into the 2018 season, fresh off a run to Omaha in the College World Series in 17. They were sprinting right out of the gates, reeling off nine consecutive wins to begin the campaign, one of them giving head coach Rob Childress his 500th victory. The first week featured a walk-off, and not one, but two cycles. Rip oh, into right, it's tied, and there's your opening weekend, Olsen Magic. Look at Zach Deloach. He's come up three times and he scored three runs. He's going toward the wall again. He's got extra bases one more time. He has hit that well. And this could be the triple he needs for the cycle. He's around second base. And there it is. What can't he do? This is hit well by Andritzis in the left. A triple and a homer for the Aggie DH, Chris Andritzis. Back yeah, up the middle, is. he found it. it and for the second time this week, an Aggie has hit for the cycle. This time it's Chris Andritzis. Crowd knew it. They came to their feet. The Aggies' first trip away from home sent them just north to Frisco and the home of the Rangers minor league affiliate, the Rough Riders. On a Saturday night in March, an unbelievable throng of maroon engulfed Dr. Pepper Ballpark. Over 10,000 Aggies were on hand. We expected a near sellout, if not a complete one, and lots of fans of maroon still walking down to take their seats as we're underway. A big yeah. rip by Bedford. Over the wall. The Aggies score the first run of the ball game on a solo shot by Cole Bedford. Into deep right center field. Splash. Into the waterfall. Bubbles at Dr. Pepper Ballpark. And the Texas AM Aggies knock off the Baylor Bears. Five to four. You're on day two of the Frisco Classic. Andritzis, big sophomore from the Woodlands, Texas, rips that in the left center. Aggies on the board, rounding third, Coleman. We're tied up. Bubbles before noon in Frisco. To right center. In comes Wingate, in comes Yancha. Two-time SEC Freshman of the Week, Zach Deloach, drives into 9-2, Aggies. 
The Aggies can celebrate. 9-5, the final. AM goes 2-1 in Frisco. AM left Frisco with two quality wins. A couple weekends later, they stepped into the most rugged league in all of college baseball, the Southeastern Conference. To begin April, and in the midst of the SEC race, AM played host to national power and league rival LSU. The right side throws. Hellman around third. Duplantis' throw is cut off. And the Aggies are on the board on three straight singles against Caleb Gilbert. And he rockets this one deep to the gap in right center. It's going to get to the fence on one hop. Bedford around third. He will score with ease. And the Aggies keep it rolling. Cue the bubbles again. Doxakis has thrown 32 pitches through three innings. And he's holding on to a 5 0 A and M lead. It gets all the way to the backstop. Racing home is Shoemake. And the Aggies get another run across, and they're about to get really loud here. And he punches it through. Aggies have their ninth run of the game. Every sound bite, everybody who could be a pivotal performance for the Aggies. Shoemake charging on the run. Got him. And that'll close it out. A 9-2 final for the Aggies. And that is hit well to left. Into that wind. Could he leave the whoa, yard in whoa. the face of it? Runners going. Throw down to second. Scooped by Shoemake and Fiducia. Is caught stealing. Yancha into the gap. That'll land, and the Aggies will take a two to nothing lead. Will they try to make it three nothing? They will. Yancha's turning all the way to third base. He's got a triple and two RBIs. And Mitchell Kilkenny will go the distance, and the Aggies win their first SEC series this year. Following the tilt with the Tigers, AM stepped out of conference on a Tuesday, bringing in an even older nemesis, the Texas Longhorns. Olsen Field was out in full force as attendance topped 7,500. Here's Hunter Coleman. That's going to be ball six. Yeah, there's the first breaking ball. Ground ball back up the middle, gets through. One run will score, and two will score. The Aggies take a 2 nothing lead. And the one, two. Check swing, did he go? Yes, he did. Here's a ground ball, this could be two. To second, on over to first, and time. What a big play. And he hung a curveball. Lined it to left field. Hellman scores, Foster rounding third, he scores. Six to three Aggies. Rounded over to third base. And Texas AM will hoist the Lone Star flag tonight. After pinning losses on rivals, AM surged on through the SEC gauntlet. There is no more difficult task in college baseball than playing in this league. But the Aggies were often game. Ground ball, that's up the middle, that's a base hit, and he just scored! And the Aggies gonna walk off in the bottom of the 11th inning. At the close of SEC and regular season play, AM was 36 and 19 overall with a sparkling RPI. But they still had some work to do. The SEC tournament in Hoover. Only Omaha and the CWS rivals the collection of teams that arrive at the Met to compete against each other. The Aggies came in looking to solidify themselves with an NCAA tournament squad. So Foster will round first, and he'll be in there with a stand-up double. Foster, his 10th double of the year. That one's through the right side. Good piece of hitting by Bedford, and that'll get the tie run on. Round ball. That'll get a run home. The inning is over, but the run will count. 
Swing and a miss. And he has had some kind of day. Now he leads the conference in saves, looking for number 13 here. If he can get it, that's out number two, back to back strikeouts. I'm awesome. Keep flipping the car since we should run for the pool. I got the five. That ball's lifted high in the air, deep to right field. Caught! That may have saved a home run. Blaylock smashed it, but caught out in right field by Wingate, and that is your ball game. Asa Lacy. I see how long he can go today. He looks great so far. To season high. Two outs. Is this another two out? It is. And Dritzis, does he get another one? Yes, he does. A towering shot over the left field fence. Back to back home runs for the Aggie first baseman. They're going to miss, and there is your ball game. 2 0 in Hoover, getting the third win required AM to go through the first pick in the draft. John Doxakis would need to be second to none. And it's a fifth strikeout of the night for John Doxakis. Pitches a strike, it's strike three called. John Doxakis still hasn't allowed a hit through six innings. Doxakis covers, it continues. He is through for seven without having allowed a hit. Little flare, this one into right center. It will get down, a and will score first. Deloach has his second hit of the game. Four for six tonight. Shoemake with a base hit. Here comes Deloach. They're going to wave home helmet, and the throw never comes. Two-run double for Braden Shoemake. Swing and a drive to right center field. Caught by Williams. Tagging from third is Yancho. And a sack fly adds to the AM advantage. Little chopper. Shoemake scoops, fires. Yeah. That'll do it. Texas AM gets a dominating pitching performance from John Doxakis. And Nolan Hoffman closes the door. For the 12th consecutive season, A&M was selected to play in the NCAA tournament, the fourth longest active streak in the nation. With team success comes individual accolades. Braden Shoemake was first team All-SEC and earned another invite to Team USA this summer. Michael Hellman had the most hits in the SEC as well as a 20-game hit streak. He was second team All-Conference and made the league's all-tournament team. Also, he was picked in the 11th round of the Major League Draft by the Minnesota Twins. John Doxakis was also on the SEC's all-tournament team and earned a Team USA invite himself. Chris Andritzis was all-tournament in Hoover. Nolan Hoffman tied the school record for saves in a season and was named ABCA Rawlings second team All-American. He was also taken in the draft in the fifth round by the Seattle Mariners. Three more Aggies had the major leagues come calling. Mitchell Kilkenny was taken in the second compensatory round by the Colorado Rockies. Kaysen Sherrod was picked in round seven by the Miami Marlins. And Stephen Kolick in the 11th round went to the Los Angeles Dodgers. There are seniors who will move on from the program. Pitchers Kaler Chapin and Sherrod outfielder Bain Shanevogel, and manager Will Bruins. But their contributions to Aggie baseball will not soon be forgotten. Texas A&M baseball closed the season with 40 wins. They are one of only five programs nationally to reach that threshold in each of the last four seasons. Few have matched the success of the Aggies, but this team looks to the future. Their sights are set on a title in the SEC and in Omaha. Each player laces them up with visions of a championship for Texas A&M.